6t times the quantity 5t to the fourth minus 1 raised to the fourth power. And we're supposed to find the derivative of that function. So in order to do that, I've copied that problem here. And I will find the derivative of that. And I just realized that I left out my t, so I'm going to add that in there. So you need to remember here that this is a product function. And that the first factor is negative 6t, which has a derivative of negative 6. And then the other factor is a quantity 5t to the fourth minus 1 raised to the fourth power. So that's going to be the derivative is 4 times the quantity 5t to the fourth minus 1 to the third power times the derivative 4, 5t to the fourth would be 20t to the third. And of course, the derivative of minus 1 is 0. So when we go to find m prime of t, we're going to take the first factor, which is that negative 6t, and we're going to multiply it times the derivative of the second factor. And it might be a little more compact if we first multiply 4 times 20 and get 80 t to the third times the quantity 5t to the fourth minus 1 raised to the third power. And then to that, we are going to add the second factor, which is 5t to the fourth minus 1 raised to the fourth power. And we're going to multiply that times the derivative of negative 6t, which is simply negative 6. So after that, everything is going to be algebraic simplification if you're going to be able to match up what it says in the back of the book. Uh, so m prime of t let's see, negative 6t times 80t to the third is going to be negative 480 t to the fourth times 5t to the fourth minus 1 raised to the third power plus negative 6 times 5t to the fourth minus 1 to the fourth power. And actually, as long as you've got step 1 correct, I wouldn't count off if that's the only thing that you wrote down. This would also be considered perfectly correct, but I'm pretty sure the reason that you're having issues after that is because what the people that wrote the solutions manual did was they looked at 5t to the fourth minus 1 to the power 3 as being a greatest common factor. And so what they did was they factored out 5t to the fourth raised to the third power. Which leaves you in this part, negative 480t to the fourth minus 6 times the quantity 5t to the fourth minus 1. And this time that would be to the first power because originally it was to the fourth and 4 minus 1 would be, or excuse me, 4 minus 3 would be 1. 
So that's going to be to the thir first power. And then I'm pretty sure after that what they would have done, or what they have done, is that they have left 5t to the fourth minus 1 raised to the third power out here. And they have multiplied through on the rest of this negative 480t to the fourth minus 6 times 5 is 30t to the fourth plus 6. And then combine these two terms. And undoubtedly, that is what they wound up with. And all of that is just algebraic torturing of the original expression, which if you were substituting in a number, it would be just as easy to substitute in that num number up here as it would have been for any of the other steps. So I hope this eases your mind that you did that correctly.